Hello. Dr. Summers, is, is that you? It's, uh, not Dr. Summers, Miss Tikachek. Oh, there you are. Uh, honey, can you help me? I think my heart has stopped beating. What? Oh, the heart monitor. We've been having issues with the power. I can help with that. How are you otherwise? Is that you're building a fence? It is you. How are the boys? Are they back yet? I... I don't know what you're referring to. I'm just a volunteer. Oh, you're a terrible liar, Natalie. I know who you are. I know who my son is. I know who my other son is. So let's drop the pretense, because my clock is running out, and talking in codes seems to be a real waste of my last night alive. Now, where were we? Oh, how I'm doing. Probably dying tomorrow. How are you, honey? <laughs> <laughs> My upcoming demise is funny, is it? Uh, I don't know why I'm laughing. It's not funny, it's just... You're right. I don't know how to lie. I don't even know what I was thinking. I had no plan coming here. Then allow me to take the wheel and say this. I thank the universe every day my boys have had you to look after them. And I'm thrilled to meet the woman who raised them. I don't know if I raised Alexander. I was so young. I thought if I kept that cookie jar full and had him decorate cupcakes and called him names like, like Smarty, Smarty Pants. Pants. <laughs> you know that story. Yes, I know that story. I ignored all the warning signs. Denial is so easy when you're a new mother. You want so badly to believe the world will be perfect for your kids. We want that so desperately. We'll lie to them, and to ourselves, and don't even realize, but we do our best. I'm sure your mom has similar stories. My mom died when I was a baby. It's okay. I had my papa, and he was wonderful. He also died a few years ago. Oh, being a teenager is hard enough without being an orphan on top of it. After his funeral... The other legends found me sitting under the kitchen table. They had to coax me out. Help me understand that even though they weren't my biological family, they were still... Your adopted family. Just... my family. Well, if I didn't like you before, Natalie, that sealed it. That kind of inner strength. Oh no. They were the strong ones. My legends. I just wanted to crawl under the table and never come out. You had the kitchen table. I had a bridge. I'd sit on the ledge every night. Dead husband, dead son, or so I thought. I'd ask the heavens for a sign, a reason to keep going. And you got one? I did. He walked out from under that bridge and yelled at me in Korean. He was trying to sleep. He was 12 years old and all by himself. I was 60. And just as alone. They were our angels. Here's the thing, honey. They're not angels. They're just people. We made the choice to keep going. That's on us. Give yourself credit. Whatever life throws at you, always know that you can take it. You can take anything. We are like lightning rods. Stronger than even we realize. I still miss him sometimes, when the house gets quiet, especially at night. My house is full of children and never quiet, and it still feels empty without Alexander. When did you realize he was not dead? The second I saw my first Apex match, I knew he looks exactly the same. What changed? The part in his hair? Worst disguise I've ever seen. He's not even trying. <laughs> Still, that must have hurt. You even had a funeral. Oh, I was livid to make your own mother believe. After all he put me through, you get it. You've experienced it. But you never gave up on him. Not entirely. 
watching you navigate your way around him in a way that I couldn't. I never stopped loving Alexander. But you're the reason I started liking him again. I understand him more now. His language... It scares me sometimes, but... It's starting to make sense to me now. You should know it got pretty bad. He almost... Miss Tikachek? What is this? This is my contact info. I don't care what time it is. The next time you're feeling alone in your house, you reach out to me. Your family now, honey. To them and to me. My son thinks very, very highly of you, you know. He has been supportive of my scientific work in his own way. That wasn't the son I was referring to. Well, look at that. My heart appears to be working again thanks to you. So, anyway, when they opened Olympus, I had to come. Sometimes a mother needs to step in before her sons go too far. Of course, now they decide to work together. Leave the planet when I show up. Uh, boys, am I, am I right? What is it? Uh, uh, I, I don't uh, need... Please don't die! Uh, Please! Uh,